All right, it's good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. I can truly say it with, with a true heart. It is good to be back here. I look forward to coming back to church and I look forward to the fellowship and to the song service and to the preaching hour and the afternoon service. I look forward to today mm-hmm. and uh, praise the Lord for it. We want to study some this morning in the book of Psalms and chapter 73. Uh, and we uh, want to talk about the writer of this uh, some just before we get started in this. And, uh, and uh, but in this guy's name, is, and I don't know for sure if I pronounce it right, Aphos, I think, or uh, that's my way of pronouncing it. But anyway, he had a he had a very he had a, a large talent in that David. Uh, over in the book of Psalms, uh, I mean in First Chronicles, I want to uh, I want to show you something this morning before we get into this, and you can understand it a little bit better. But in the in First Chronicles, and uh, verse sixteen, here's some of his credentials in verse five of, of First Chronicles sixteen. Asaph the chief, and next to Zechariah. And so he had a, he held a, a, a high position. And then look in verse 7. Then on that day, David delivered first his psalms to thank the Lord into the hands of Asaph and his brother. And so David has given him several psalms, psalms mm-hmm. to write. And he encourages him with this. And, and, and this is the reason why that... Uh, I understand a little bit more about this after I studied this here, uh, this chapter 73, because uh, uh, this, the way that it's wrote, he is writing the words that David gave him. And so uh, uh, this actually was a, uh, uh, I, I believe, understanding a writing of David, but it says in verse 1 of chapter 73, truly God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. Amen. And this clean heart, I mean, a pure heart, and that's something this morning that uh, we we need to uh, have uh, a pure heart, a pure mind, a pure soul, and we have that when we're saved. Amen. And uh, this morning, he says here in verse 2, But as for me, my feet were almost gone. And my step had well nigh slipped or stumbled. And we know this morning that David spent many, many hours trying to uh, serve the Lord. And he had many, many, many problems. And the Lord would pick him up and set him out of them. He would, he would give him power to, uh, uh, to wipe out whole armies and things of this nature. But in, even in all of this and in God's help here, uh, and I believe that this is what uh, David would, wanted him to say or to write, but he said, he said, as for me, my feet were almost gone. Amen. My step had well nigh slipped. And you know, this morning, uh, sometimes we get on these slippery slopes and we, uh, we get to stumbling and we, we kind of come to ourselves and the Holy Spirit speaks to our hearts and says, uh, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? And here's what David comes to the conclusion. He said, I was almost in that, I was in that condition. Mm-hmm. And he said here, for I, here is the reason why and that David was like this. For I was envious mm-hmm. at the foolishness when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Right. And this morning, uh, this will catch a person's eye if it, in the flesh, and you can see all of these this stuff going on around you, and all the prosperity of the wicked, how that they gain, and how that they don't have to never worry about this or that. And a lot of times we'll look or get our eyes on them and say, "My goodness, uh, what's how are they doing this?" But he says here uh, he was envious. And and he was uh, he was he was he was fool uh, at the fool at the foolishness when I saw saw this and listen I back in verse and this prosperity and all I look back in this at, at verse thirty seven a minute and I want you to read something with me or just listen to me as I read it but in verse thirty seven it talks about some of the situation here and it says 
The, the psalmist, it says here, the psalmist said, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against them, the workers of iniquity. And so this morning, that is a must in our in our service to the Lord, and that is to keep this body under condition, under control, that when we see these things happening and, and the wicked are just uh, gaining momentum all the time and don't right. nothing can go wrong and everything is going their way, listen, he says, don't you fret, don't you worry uh, about these things because in the book of Proverbs 24 it says, be not envious against evil, neither desire to be with them. And receive their and receive their rewards. And so, you know, sometimes we we look at them and say, "Well, I, I wish I could do that. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do this." Listen, if it's wrong, we don't need to have a desire to do it. Amen. And if it's if it's bringing worldly things in, we still don't need it. Amen. Because listen, this morning the world is evil, and the things that there are of, and the and the love and the lust of the world and of the money and the things it says is the root of all evil. And so we, as God's people, need to get away from that, stay away from it, push it back, and don't be envious of them. Let them have it because Amen. we can read over here, I believe, in chapter twenty-one, and, and we'll find out some of the things that God does to those people that that lives in this and they completely annihilate them and they, and he says they're just like green grass is cut off and it just wilters away right there's nothing left and listen you may say well I know so and so lived being 90 years old he got well listen he's he's paying for it now right and uh, so this morning we we don't need to make excuses for the wicked. We don't need to right. do that for that we can sort of side in with them and, and say, well, uh, I'm gonna try a little of that sugar too, but because he says here in 73, uh, back in our big, in, for there, in verse four, for there are no bands in their death, or there's no pain, but their strength is firm. Mm -hmm. And so we see the things that are going on in their life, they don't have this problem because, listen, their, de their Lord is the devil, and he certainly does not want to cause them any problems. Right. He wants to give them, and you know, over in Matthew, when he's got it, because over in Matthew there, when he was tempting the Lord, he said, all of these powers I'll give to you if you'll fall down and worship me. He right. said, because they are given to me. And listen, this morning, people, when you when you lust for, love, uh, for worldly things, the devil is controlling all of this because he, God, gave him the power to use these things for his own use. Right. And so this morning you say, well, why did God do it? Well, it's because God knows what he's doing and because God is God and, and we don't need to question it. Yeah. But he has got the, the devil has got that power to do these things. And so here... He says, they're, they're, but their strength is firm, the, those that are doing these things. Notice in verse 5, <clears throat> they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. They're protected. They're, as as uh, Job uh, and uh, as Job spoke to, uh, the devil spoke to, to, to the Lord, he said, uh, about Job, he said, well, I can't get to him. He said, you put a pencil, a hedge around me. <laughs> Listen, this is the same thing with the men of this world, the ones that they're talking about here, because he says they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like others. They've got that hedge around them. Right. Listen, they're the servants of Satan, and he will protect them. He will keep them, and he will usher them right into his hell home. And there he'll, they will be punished forever. Mm -hmm. And so he knows these things, and he's trying his best to get a smite at God and, and, and affect him some way. But listen, that's the way it is this morning. The devil protects his own. Mm -hmm. And you can wonder all you want to about how these people that we see and hear all the time on TV and, and, and all this stuff that's going on, how do they survive? Well, because the devil is their God. Right. And they yeah. worship the world and the things that are in there. And he's glad he's got all this power. He can shift a he can shift a million dollars over to their bank account and he can he can pat them on the back and give them a body that's like uh, uh, Atlas and, 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 and do all these things. Listen, 
because he, he can do it. Mm -hmm. And so we, when we see these things like this, we don't, we shouldn't have a desire for it. Right. We should not have a desire for it, but we should say, uh, I'm going to pray for that man mm -hmm. because he's in bad shape. Now, therefore, <clears throat> in verse 6, therefore pride compasseth them about mm -hmm. as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. And this chain that he's speaking of, I looked some of that up, and it was a necklace. And it says this chain... Uh, uh, is about them, or it was a necklace, and, and, and a lot of the priests and a lot of the uh, people wore these necklaces to identify them and all of these things, and this it's on a chain, and, and so that's why he's talking about here, uh, therefore pride compasses them about as a chain. Uh, they have great pride uh, in wearing this and, 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 and saying to the world, I'm of Satan, I am his servant. And they don't do it openly, but inwardly they do it, and you can identify them by their actions and by the ways that they do these things and by the way they expose themselves. You can identify them as servants of Satan. And that's what he's talking about here. Violence covereth them as a garment, and their eyes stand out with fatness. Uh, they have more than heart could wish. And so, you know, they have no problem. They have no worries about earthly possessions. And I right. know this morning and that there's people that uh, that don't fit this category and they haven't got nothing to go on. But listen, the thing of it is, we can identify these that I'm talking about this morning by what they have and how that they get it and, and, and especially how they get it because when they take a stand against the devil, I mean for the devil, they that's what they're wanting. Mm -hmm. And some of these poor that we try to help and all this, listen, they 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 haven't gotten anything. They mm -hmm. haven't gotten anything. But listen, uh, Jesus always came to the poor. Jesus always said, Blessed are the poor. Yeah. And and you know, this morning that's that's where that we can tell the difference because you never hear Jesus say, Blessed is the rich man mm -hmm. or blessed is the, the Satan worshiper, but right. he said, Blessed is the poor. And so here here he says that they they these people have more than heart could wish for. They are corrupt and they speak wickedly uh, concerning oppression they speak lofty or proudly uh you can i mean hey uh, people we've been around all of our lives and we know you can you can hear this you can hear this out of people's mouth oh i've got this oh i've done this oh i've this no i don't uh, you go to no i don't go to that old church I don't do this thing. Listen, they're speaking proudly and right. they're proud of what they're doing because they have not, their eyes have not been opened and they can't see, they cannot understand, they cannot see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So they are proud of what they're doing. And so that's the, the condition they are in. He says here in verse 9, they set their mouth against the heavens right. and, and their tongue walketh through the earth. And so they set their mouth against the heavens, and 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 and, and even even if you wanted the heavens like the stars and the moon and all this, listen, uh, they they would not even they would not even accept the fact that you say, well, ain't that beautiful? And God created it all. Now He didn't create this come into existence. Right. That I mean, that's one of the one of the ways it's can. And, You're right. Uh, and, and so this morning. Uh, they they just can't accept anything. And listen, our world our world is is like a snowball. Mm -hmm. And listen, it's been rolling down this mountain for a long time. But listen, she's getting so big now, it's taking up everything. Mm -hmm. And listen, things like this right here, uh, people are accepting and they're scoffing at the the thing of saying that God created the the heavens and the and the stars and the moon. And, and the earth and all this, they're scoffing it. And right. they, they, they're saying some little amoeba crawled out of somewhere or another and started this and started that and, and, and the world began. Listen, that's that's what that's what the, uh, the understanding of this wicked lost world is. Right. And so here in verse 10, therefore his 
people return hither, and waters of the full cup rang out or drain out of them. And they say, How doth God know? And is there knowledge in the most high? Amen. And so this is their question this morning, and they'll ask it to you with boldness and and have uh, something to back it up and say, well, I knew this and I understand this, and they'll run and get a, 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 a ungodly book right. that they call a Bible, mm -hmm. and they'll say, don't it say this and don't it say that and, and this and that, and they'll twist it around and they'll do this and they'll do that to it. And listen, that's their thing, and they joy in doing it. Right. I've seen it, I've seen it. People that went to church all their life, and all they want to do is argue, and, mm -hmm. and, and if they can get a, 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 a revised version or something or other that'll shift the word around, all oh, they're happy as they can right. be, and they'll run to you with it and say, now here's what this says, and so that's that's what he's talking about here. He They set their mouth against the heavens, and there's Therefore, this people return hither, and the waters are, are, are a full cup, are wrung out of them. And they say, how doth God know? Is there, and is there knowledge in the Most High? And my, 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 what a one, 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 one awful thing it is to question God's authority. And so he said, behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocence. Mm -hmm. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of my children. But now notice, after he thought this and said this, he says, when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I their end. And so this morning, as David is thinking about these things and uh, uh, going over them to his, in his heart, listen, when, until I went into the sanctuary of God, mm -hmm. and this morning, so many times uh, God will speak to our souls, the Holy Spirit will speak to our hearts about these things, and uh, and he, he, he gives us an understanding. Mm -hmm. And so this morning, when we come to God's house, and, and when we uh, uh, are here, the Holy Spirit can give us understanding, because he says in verse 18, surely... Thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down into destruction. Mm -hmm. How are they brought into desolation? As in a moment, they are utterly consumed with their terrors. Amen. This morning, he's talking about these people here that are with a corrupt mouth, or with a, a sinful heart, and with a worldly lust. He says... How are they brought into desolation? As in a moment, they are utterly consumed with terror. Right. As a dream when one awakeneth, so, O Lord, when thou awakenest, thou shalt despise their image. And so these things that David is, is seeing to us this morning is a warning to us this morning uh, not to fool with the things of this world. Not Amen. Really uh, like this and he says he says thus my heart was grieved and I was pricked in my reins so foolish was I and ignorant I was a beast before thee and he is just saying this morning and, and I, I'm sure David David had this to say about himself because he understood a lot of the time when God was blessing and when and when when God would, would move him around, and he understood his condition. He he had lots and lots of things going on in his life that uh, it was so much so much killing in his life, so much bloodshed in his life that God told him, said, uh, "You can't you can't build me a temple because of the blood that you shed and for the killing that you've done." But he said, "I'll give you a son," mm -hmm. and so. Uh, he, and these, these are some of the things that David went through. So he says 
In verse 24, thou shalt guide me with thy counsel and afterward receive me to glory. Amen. This morning, that is our assurance. That is David's assurance. Listen, that when we serve the Lord, he says here, thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, with thy word, with thy understanding, and, and speak to my soul and, and help me. And he says, and afterward, receive me to in, to to and receive me to glory but and, and, and this this morning and I, I wanted to read something i got <coughs> wrote down here in psalms 32 just just a minute i'll read i will read that little scripture here in psalms 32 8. Right. Psalms 32 8, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the ways which thou shalt go. Amen. And that's a promise, people, this morning. To you that have been saved, he will guide you, he will direct you, and he will he will show you the way to go. And he says, Be, be ye not as the horse or as the mute, which have no understanding whose mouth must be held in with bits and bridles, lest they come near unto thee. Y'all come in. Lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. And so we have this we have this assurance this morning. We that are we that are serving the Lord, he says here, many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Amen. And that's this morning. That's what we have an assurance of this morning. When we know that we have the salvation, when we have a time and a place, when we've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, this is the promise that He's this is the promise that He's given us. And He says, be glad in the Lord and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. And so again, we want to look over here just in uh, just a second, a minute or two, in the and we'll end the lesson in verse and chapter 37 of the book of Psalms. Fret not, and we're just reading about all the envious things that are that are going on in the in the, in the world today and all the lust of the world and all the things that are out there in the world and that we should not lust for those things because we've done said the, the love of money the love of money the love of money is the root of all evil Amen. and the root is what makes the body grow it's what we what is produced and he says in verse 30, uh, verse 1 of, of, of 37 the psalms it says fret not thyself because of evil lures be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass right. and withered as the green herbs. And you see in these old fields out here when these guys run over with the moor, all right, they let them lay three or four days and they go back and they start raking them up because they done dried up and they roll them in the road. And that's the same what he's talking about here. He says they, they're like the grass and withered as the green herbs trust in the lord and do good so shall Amen. thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed very good promises delight thyself also in the lord and he shall give thee desires of thine heart Amen. And people this morning we all have a desire in our heart for the lord to bless us and to take care of us and to encourage us and to help us and that's what you need to do this morning. Delight thyself, it says, also in the Lord, and he shall give thee these desires. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Amen. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. And he said, when he bring forth the righteousness as light, you know, when God created the heavens and the earth, and he said, let there be light. Amen. There was light, and the darkness comprehended, didn't understand it. 
And that's the same way here this morning. He says, here, he says, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light. And that light will shine before you and people can understand you. Amen. And people will, un will recognize you as a child of God. Yeah. So these are some of the things this morning. Uh, uh, rest in the Lord, he says in verse 7. And wait patiently, and boy, that patiently is a big word, patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of, the, of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. And you notice he says, uh, the one that prospers in his way. And that's the worldly way, people. That's the way that, that the, the love of money is the root of all evil, and that's how that a man prospers himself in the ways of the world. Because Amen. listen, he don't he don't care anything about serving God. He wants to get that dollar, and he wants to lust on it. And he that's that's why here that so many people fret themselves and worry themselves because Joe down the way or Jim up the holler has got. A whole lot more than I've got, and I'm serving the Lord, and He doesn't know doing nothing. And so, listen, that's the that's the end result of fretting. Fretting will will hurt you, it will harm you physically, spiritually, and mm -hmm. mentally in every way. Fretting, worrying about something that somebody else has got that you ain't got. And so, the Lord will give it to you when you need it. And don't worry about things that you haven't got because. Uh, if, you, if you're a Christian and, and you're trying to serve the Lord, listen, he'll give them to you when you need them. And so this is, this is what we have for this morning. It's a, uh, it's, it, it's, a good, it's a good study. And this morning we should really and truly uh, think upon these things. And as we go through life, we need to practice these things. And, and when, uh, when it's all over and done, say we can hear Welcome to a good and faithful sermon. Amen. So this morning we thank you for uh, listening. We're glad to see our visitors come in and want you to feel just as welcome as you really are. And we're glad to see you. So thank you all for listening. Amen.